everyone and welcome to another review following a request from one of my loyal subscribers Veronica's on you and I do hope I didn't totally butcher her username on YouTube and if I did I do apologize and it would be really helpful if she could give me a hint as to how it is properly pronounced so following a request from her I will be doing a review of two hand cream from La Cura Natur Cosmetic and as you can see, one has aloe vera and the other one has pomegranate in it. I have purchased both of these hand creams some six months ago in my local Aldi grocery shop. And I believe that the full price was two euros and I got them on sale for just one euro a piece. Each of the tubes contains 100 milliliters of product and that comes out to 3.4 ounces of hand cream. Now, to the best of my knowledge, these are not part of the regular range that Aldi sells in terms of hand creams. They do have some that they sell all year round. At least in my stores, however, these two ones were part of a limited edition special offer kind of thing. And as the name at the top right here, I don't know if you're able to see it, La Cura Natur Cosmetic implies this is kind of a sub-brand of their cosmetics brand, La Cura. And um, this is their natural cosmetics part of La Cura. I'm not sure you're able to read any of this uh, on the back side. It's in German anyways. But basically what it says is a description of what the company philosophy of La Cura natural cosmetics is. And what it's saying is that this is a certified natural cosmetics line that uses no artificial perfume or color. It is cruelty free. It contains no mineral oil. Most ingredients come from controlled organic production and it is also dermatologically certified. Also by looking at the ingredient list down here, I was not able to find any parabens on there which is a very good thing. Going over first to the hand cream with aloe vera. This is said to contain what in German is called valuable almond oil and avocado oil and both of those oils are organic and this is for intensive care and as you can see it does have two special seals on here that have to do with the fact that this product is part of the natural cosmetics line. The consistency of these hand creams is pretty much the same for both of them. The only different thing about them that is immediately apparent to the end user would be the perfume and they do say that they do not contain artificial perfumes so that's a good thing and they come in this practical squeezy tube and it feels very nice and emollient I'm a person who unfortunately suffers from very dry hands pretty much irrespective of season. So I tend to carry a tube of hand cream in all of my handbags because I do get very, very dry hands. And in winter, if I don't moisturize them in time, they will get super dry and they will crack right about here at the knuckles. So this product absorbs in the skin pretty quickly and it does leave a nice moisturized result, which is very much what I'm looking for in a hand cream. It does have a bit of a smell. I would say that it's an okay smell. I couldn't say 100% that it smells of aloe because I'm not really sure what aloe smells like, to be honest. It's an okay smell and what I do like about it is that it's not very strong. So it's only something that you would sense if you would sniff right on your hands. As you can see, it has completely absorbed into my skin. My skin feels nice and moisturized. Going over to the pomegranate hand cream, this claims to be regenerating and it claims to have pomegranate extract and avocado oil and both of those are supposed to be certified as organic and what it does is it also protects the skin against untimely aging. I have almost completely used this one up because this is the one that I first got. To be honest, I don't notice a radically different result when I use the one in pomegranate as opposed to when I use the one with aloe. To me, both of them are really moisturizing for my hands and they help me keep my um, hands nice and soft. So I would really recommend any of these two, especially if you're suffering from dry hands. 
Um, they absorb quickly into the skin and if you're looking for an affordable natural cosmetic option for your daily hand care, these are two great options. None of them has a really strong smell. The one with pomegranate maybe has just a little bit of pomegranate scent, but it also has some other scent mixed in with it. To be honest, I wouldn't buy either of these two for the scent. The scents are not amazing, they are okay, they are on the pleasing side, but they're not anything outstanding. And it's nice that it's not too strong, so it will uh, definitely not overpower you. So summing up, definitely a solid conditioning product and a very good skincare product. I would repurchase these. As I have mentioned, I had originally purchased the pomegranate one and then I went back and got the aloe vera one because I like the pomegranate one so much. In my experience, they are not only on par with the best traditional cosmetic hand creams that I have tried thus far, but they actually top them, so I can definitely see myself grabbing a couple more of these. And as you know, Aldi tends to rotate their special offers a lot, and depending on the season or on the upcoming holidays, they will bring back some of their more popular products. So I'm pretty sure that as winter is approaching, these will be back pretty soon. So if I were to give these a grade, I would probably give them a nine just because the packaging on the pomegranate one is sometimes a bit difficult to open, this flap down here. Not a big deal though, but if I'm not really careful, sometimes I could rip a nail in it and you know, the smell is not amazing. But at least for me, the most important thing in a hand cream is the skincare aspect of it. And in that department, both of these definitely deliver. So I hope that this review was helpful to you. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.